Hey guys, it's me, it's Amr um, Renega, and this time I'm back with something that might help you guys out, which is intro to K Beauty. Yeah. Alright, so let's get started. So maybe you're a person who is actually pretty interested in K Beauty and you don't know where to begin. Well, I'm here to give you a little, little brief intro on how to get started and what do you need to get, what steps, because I'm pretty sure you've heard that there's at least. Um, the Korean skincare regime is about 12 steps. Well, I'm gonna bring it down to I believe seven, possibly eight. Let's get started. So let's see what you're gonna need. Okay, guys. So number one, um, to get started into the skincare regime, you're pretty much gonna need a face wash. And face washes depends on what brands you get, but this is the one I've been using lately. It's the the face shop one. And it depends on what you're really looking for. If you're on a budget, then this would be good because this is actually one of their cheaper face brands. It's around $5 um, to $7 around there. But I'm telling you, you're going to need a face wash to begin. If you're all into the organic stuff, you can probably check out GlowRecipe.com. They have some organic face washes. If you're into the natural stuff, you can probably check out Nature Republic. If you're in a budget, the face shop will work fine. And then there's a, a million other little... Um, other different brands such as Etude, um, Innisfree, it, Misha, a ton of different other skincare products out there that offer you a low budget um, face wash. So that's number one. You're gonna need to start off with the face wash. Okay, so then let's go on to step number two. For step number two, you're going to be needing a toner. The reason you're going to be needing a toner is because most of the time your face wash um, disturbs the pH balance in your skin and you kind of have to bring it back in. And we start off with a toner. The one I have is an energy boosting toner from Earth's Recipe. But it's again, depends on your budget, your skin condition. So yeah, so after your face wash, you're going to be needing a toner. The toner is going to bring back your pH balance and it's also going to get rid of any other impurities. Okay, so sometimes when you have your skin um, washed and then toned, sometimes it still it dries pretty fra fast and it tends to be a little dry. So what's recommended is to use a face mist. This one's from Wamisha, um, but this one is actually really good. A lot of people also tend to use face mist whenever their skin feels dry so this is also something you're going to need if you're trying to be into the skincare 101 you're going to need a face mist this one you can usually use it to prep your skin after you toned it or before you tone it depends on how you feel like using it and then you can also use it whenever you don't apply makeup you can use a face mist and that will make let your makeup sit in and it won't rush it won't get runny or fade um so yeah this is pretty good so you also need a face mist. There's a ton of face mists out there. Now let's move on to number four. So for number four, you're most likely gonna need an ampule or an essence. They tend to be the same thing. Some people say they are different, but some people say no, they're the exact same thing. There's like a whole um, drama thing going on about that. But truth is, you're gonna need either an ampule or an essence. An ampule would be good. This is actually one from Nature Republic and it's worth $12. It's not that bad. It's very watery and you just tap it in after you're done with your spray or your toner. Um, so yeah, you're gonna be needing an ampule and again, it, it all goes according to what your skin likes. And so yeah. All right, so let's move on to step number five. Tip number five. So the next thing you're gonna pretty much need is an emulsion, um, which is gonna go on top of your toner. And this is just pretty much to keep everything hydrated. It creates a small layer and it it keeps your skin hydrated. At least that's what I understand when I went to the store. That's what they told me. So yeah, you're gonna need an emulsion, and this one is from Nature Republic as well. So tip number six is pretty much an essential. You're gonna be needing some sort of cream to cover it all up. And so everything can stay nice and smooth and hydrated. And pretty much what I use is this cream right here, the Moisture Bath Cream. 
that's pretty much what you need. Also, um, obviously during the night, the, the night time, I mean the daytime, you use the cream. But if you have a little bit of extra money to add in, you can always put, um, buy a night mask. Um, most of the time you put them. Oops. Most of the time you put them on, and then the next day you wash them off. Depends on some of them don't need to be washed off. Sometimes people opt for the cheaper stuff. Like this is from the face shop, and this normally costs around five to six dollars. And you can use this as a night mask. You just put on a sort of thick layer. You go to sleep. You wake up. You can wash it off. Whatever. That's pretty much it. Um, obviously, for the skincare regimen, those are the main six things that you will be needing. Six, seven, um, which is the face wash, ampule, toner, um, emulsion, cream, and night cream. Um, also, you can always have fun with Korean skincare, which is what I love because they have a ton of masks. You can buy these as extras. This is how I keep my mask. I have. My mask collection is pretty small compared to other women and girls out there, but yeah, you can have fun with these. Sometimes if you're just feeling really tired, you can just go ahead, wash your face, and put on your ampule toner, and then slather one of these babies on, and oh my goodness, it feels so good. So that's what I like about skincare, and then you can also have fun with it and get yourself some wash-off packs. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Um, you know, have fun with Korean skincare. Don't get too overwhelmed because it can lead to yourself hurting your own skin if you go crazy on this. But I mean, it all comes with learning. You know, do what you want to do and and get out there. Yeah, remember what I said. Start off with your basic face wash, and then move on up from there. Get your ampules, get your toners, get your essences, your emulsions, your fun masks. And your wash off so yes thanks for watching guys this is umber Bernica, and i hope my tips have helped you out today and well umber Bernica, 